This week's Parsha, Parsha Truma, marks a major change in the relationship of God, Hashem, and Bnei Israel, the nation of Israel. Until now, they kind of met the holiness and the honor of Hashem everywhere. We find it in Egypt, where in the last plague, Hashem himself comes and kills all the firstborns of the Egyptians. Then it goes on with the crossing of the Red Sea, where we see that they say, this is my God. They saw his honor in their own naked eyes. And then it goes on with the receiving of the Torah again. They see his honor, they see his holiness, they see the voices, they see, they see, they feel so close to God, they see it. And then all of a sudden, Hashem talks to Moshe Rabbeinu and he says, You should build me a mishkan, a dwelling place, a sanctuary, where there I would dwell, my holiness would dwell there. If you want to feel the, the holiness, you would have to come there. What's going on? They saw it everywhere. Why all of a sudden it would be only just in one place? Then, you know these people who become too close to very honorable people, very distinguished people that everybody honors, and then all of a sudden they kind of disrespect them because they are too close. Not because the other people don't, these, these honorable people don't deserve the, the respect, just because they're too close. And they forget that those people deserve our respect. Or somebody who has too much money, and there's never too much, but apparently there is too much. And, for example, I once saw a, a little clip from a TV show here in Israel where a woman who has too much money buys a gold or platinum-plated a uh, color to her dog, a color full of diamonds, $50,000. She paid for it without even a blink of an eye. And she goes like, oh, yes, that's a good price. Think about it. Some people, some households here in Israel and all around the world don't make $50,000 in a year. And she just paid it out for her dog. When you have too much of something, even if this is something you should respect, Sometimes you forget to respect it. Just the same about the holiness of Hashem. The nation of Israel became too close. They saw so much of it. They saw so much of it that they came to a point that beyond this point they might disrespect His holiness just because they got too close, not because it's less holy, not because it's less respectable or something. Just because they got too close that was too much. Then Hashem says, you are reaching this point, so I'm going to dwell in one sanctuary and you would come there and then you would, would remember the holiness and the holiness of the place, the holiness of me, of Hashem, and then you would respect. Now this uh, sanctuary, the Mishkan, is teaching us a lot about ourselves. The first thing that they are told, that Moshe is told to build is an ark to put the Torah inside, the two plates of the Torah inside. And this is just an example, a proverb for what we should do and what we should be. Because if we want a, a place for the Torah in ourselves, like it's dwelling there in this ark made of wood and gold-plated, we should remember how we should be. And this ark is made only of um, two and a half cubits long. Cubit is a amma, a, an ancient uh, measure, m measure that was used by the Jews. And actually, until this very day, we still use it um, for um, Torah issues. So this two and a half amma, two and a half cubits long length, um, one and a half cubit width. His its height is also one and a half cubit. So here again we see all the measurements are not whole because if you want to receive, if you want to 
get if you want to put some to get something inside you to make the Torah part of you you shouldn't think you are a whole person you should know you still have what to achieve don't be arrogant you have to learn and you always have what to learn with Torah it never ends if someone knows that he is not a whole person he is not perfect then he could learn Torah and get it inside. And by the way, this applies to our everyday life. If you want to study from someone, you should know you're not perfect. If you want to make yourself better, you should know you're not perfect. And then you could achieve more. You could study more. You could learn from others and get yourself to a better place.